Dark Amber and Ginger Lily, Joe Malone series installment number three. So, out of the first two, the first one was super long, long-winded. The second one, very curt and, you know, to the point more. I guess I'll try to aim for more of that where I don't, I don't go on these long-winded uh, stories that don't necessarily pertain to the topic at all. Uh, but I can't make any promises because this is high ratings TV. So I'll say it like this. Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. I wore this fragrance yesterday. To start the day, I, you know, I had showered the night before. I wasn't wearing anything besides a little bit of deodorant. And I gave myself a very generous application of this, both on my chest. Then I got dressed and threw it on the shirt as well. Um, and, you know, when I was, I was, I wasn't doing much for the first part of the day. And I was just not really noticing it on me, I guess, as much as you, you would think. So... The smell, the smell just wasn't as pronounced as I expected it to be. The smell is beautiful. It's relaxing. Um, to me, it kind of reminds me of like a, like a sauna, I guess. Like you could smell like a, like a cedar wood and kind of eucalyptus vibe. Online, it's listed as the top note being black cardamom, the heart note being black orchid, and the base note, Kyara incense. A Japanese form of incense. Um, so yeah, it has a very spicy, soothing sort of aroma to it, but I just didn't feel like it was as pronounced as I would have expected. That's not to take away from the actual smell itself, which is gorgeous, but I ended up layering it with poppy and barley, and then yeah, definitely a, a phenomenal blend, a great vibe you know, kind of more bright and pronounced from the poppy and barley, but this sort of added the, the spiciness, the sensuality to it. So very, very highly pleased with the fragrance. And then just as a little side note, I did end up going and checking out a few more Joe Malone fragrances yesterday because I had to get an adapter for this from the mall. So I bought online at Apple, and then you have to go to Apple afterwards to pick it up. It took longer to process my order than I thought it would, so I was just killing time. And I wanted to see if I should get my wife the English pear and freesia for Valentine's Day. So I was smelling it one last time in the store. And then I smelled nectarine blossom and honey. And it was mind-blowing in terms of like a, a fragrance I would love for her to wear. Oh, I got a, a little tiny like piece of paper with each one. Uh, and the woman there was nice enough to put them each in little bags so the smell would last. And I brought them home. Uh, after she smelled them both, she said Nectarine Blossom and Honey smells a lot better to her as well. But I'm still in love with English Pear and Freesia also. But back to, back to today's fragrance, Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. I sprayed myself right before I started filming again. And then, yeah, it's just, you know, it's very, it's very calming. It's, it is a little bit subtle, um, but it really has, you know, it really has a nice, a nice smell to it all around. I guess the, uh, yeah, I don't, I think I know what ginger smells like, and so I feel like I can smell it in this, but it, it's more of just sort of like the way that it affects the other notes. I don't really feel like I smell it by itself, if that makes sense. Uh, or maybe I'm just confusing the taste of ginger with the smell of ginger, because I don't like the way ginger tastes at all. <sighs> but I digress. High ratings to Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. Um, something I can see myself definitely wearing in the winter and fall months. Probably layering it, uh, if I'm being honest. But not really in the summer months or, uh, you know, summer, spring. I don't, I don't see this as being like a, a, warm, a warm season fragrance. But nonetheless, it is beautiful. And there's still one, uh, one fragrance that, well, two fragrances left for the series. One of which, uh, you know, one of which I haven't spoken too much about. The other I've briefly alluded to already. But this is number three of the series. Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. A beautiful, sensual, relaxing smell with woody and spicy notes for the cold months. Woo! High ratings.